Jackie going, uh, Mike Williams, <laughs> old fellas travel, so um, old, maybe old fellas prospected, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I'm out in an area having a bit of a dig and um, I came across this spot that uh, looked pretty good. So the reason I say that is, uh, if we have a look around, we've got a, it's a nice quartz head up there, we've got ironstone, we've got greenstone, a lot of quartz. And there's a few other telltale signs, so I thought I'd have a dig. As it's turned out, it's um, I found a few pieces, so I thought I might. Um, I st I've started training, but um, I've dug this hole here, and um, it's got a good good tone, and um, it looks like it's out of the hole now. So let's go through and see how it goes, eh? Hopefully, it'll be a bit of gold <laughs> yeah. yep so it's out of the hole let's have a bit of a bit of a scrape see how we go nah 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 these digs have been um, probably generally around four or five inches, so the coil's doing well to pick these up for a 2300. Oh. In the scoop, in the scoop, in the hand, still in the hand, didn't hear nothing drop then. Okay, with a bit of luck, she might be a bit of gold. Oh, look at that. Nice little piece. That's probably about the smallest of um, of the pieces I've got so far, but I think the biggest is probably one and a half grams, I'd say, but she's probably about 0.3. It's fairly thin. But it hasn't been a bad spot, so we'll keep on chaining, eh, and see how we go. <laughs> Happy days! Well guys, I think that's about it. Um, I finished chaining that section, didn't pick up any more signals. So I pretty much milked the cow, I think. Um, there is a... Uh, I was trying to work out where the, where the actual gold source was might have been coming from, because I believe it was alluvial, and there's a wash up there. You can see the quartz. We should be able to see the quartz on the camera, but... Um, there's a fair cutting up there and you see where it's come down and it's cut right down to the bedrock and there's every indicator of the um, elements that you, you'd expect to see in a gold deposit. So I've worked down through here but I'd say any that was up there, if it is alluvial, it's probably washed down um, into where I found it and that's about it. But um, let's go back to the car and get the gear off and... Um, Way up the morning's takens. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see. See you shortly, guys. All right, let's have a look and see how we went. Feels pretty good. Let's tip them out first. All right. What we end up with? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, which isn't too bad for the morning. Seven little pieces. Uh, 
Wind's disturbing it a little bit. We'll wait for the wind to drop off. Oh, the wind stirred up again, but it fell away in at um, 2.08 um, grams. It's good. All right, let's see how we go with the rest of them. What have we got there? So those six pieces. Let's have a look. Well, it weighed in at 2.4 grams. If the wind drops off. Come on, wind. Oh, the wind's not going to play the game for us guys, but um, they weighed, um, what did I say? I think it's two, two point something grams, 2.4 grams I think it was. I'll throw the big one on. And got, got them all on there and it gives us a grand total of 4.47. So that's not a bad morning's work guys. Um, how long did it swing for? Oh, about four hours, but... I'd probably spend an hour and a half finding a spot that I thought would be worthwhile having a crack at. Um, so yeah, woohoo! That's a good morning. If we could do that every day, um, life would be good. <laughs> All right, I think I'll call it a day. I'll have a drive around with Barnes in the aircon and we'll um, see if we can't pick a spot to um, have a swing tomorrow. See you guys, take it easy. Stay safe and if you're prospecting, um, good luck with finding your your gold. <laughs> Cheers guys.